Good morning, modern steaders. Oh, I ain't getting in my truck for a minute. Hold on. We always need to have this in our pocket. Ah, our pocket knife. We did something very unusual for us last night. We drove down to the big city of Boston. So if I seem tired, excuse that. We got way out of our box and went on a whim, drove out to Boston and went to a music concert that was put on by Bethel Music at the Wang Center. We didn't get home till 1 a.m. this morning, guys. <laughs> and here it is, 6. <sighs> I'll probably be drinking a few extra cups of free-range coffee today. <laughs> the early morning bite coffee is doing good this morning. Good morning, pigs. Good morning. Where'd you leave the food dish? Let's try over here. I don't know what you did with it. There you go. We'll put it on some fresh grass. Boys ready to come out? Good morning. You want your morning grain? Just a little bit. You don't want to feed your goats a lot of grain. I've been getting people emailing us and saying, you don't want to feed your goats grain at all. You want to give your goats that need the extra energy a little bit of grain. So the does that are in milk, like Willow, she gets a little bit of grain in the milking stand. And then the boys this time of the year, they're getting into the rut. We'll give them a little bit of grain in the morning. Other than that, our goats eat hay or pasture. And minerals, lots and lots different minerals we give the goats. We are trying out a new storage system for the feed. It even comes with its own little scoop. I like this system because it's airtight and you can stack them on top of each other. We've got one for now to see how it works out and we'll see if we like it and we'll add more. And they, This is the biggest size. I'll put a link to it in our Amazon store down below. It is an affiliate link. We didn't get home till 1 a.m. So I didn't separate the goat. So when I open this door, I don't know who's gonna be behind there. Willow's gonna be right there. Yep, you ready, Willow? I know your baby's well. Watch out, bro. Watch out, butt. Baby butt. There we go. I didn't separate Willow from the babies or any of the other goats last night. So I don't think she's gonna have much milk. But I want to milk her out and get what we can get so we keep her in the best milking shape. Her right udder feels completely empty. Her left one has some milk in it. I don't think much though. I'm actually surprised we got one cup of milk so far guys. Nothing out of the right udder. All right, thank you, Willow. I'll let you finish eating your grain. Hey, that's better than nothing. Ah. Can't wait to get back inside and have some more coffee. Ah, I gotta finish waking up. <laughs> drove the tundra. We drove the tundra into Boston, and I parked it in an indoor parking garage. <laughs> the parking space was just wide enough to get in. I'll put a picture of that right. Here, I think it took us about 20 turns of backing up, going forward, backing up, and going forward. <laughs> oh, guys, it was a close one, but we made it. Uh, it was good to get into Boston and have a little culture, but I'm glad we don't live in the city. Glad we live up in the country. <sighs> Give me green grass over concrete any day. Right, Willow? I don't think you'd do good in the city, would you? You ready to come out? Ready? Go. Go ahead. Good morning, kiddos. Let me get this door open. Oh, the top of the door open and get some light in here. Ah, there we go. Look at that. A nice frosty morning. You girls want to go out? Come on. Come on. 
Good morning, Hope. Yes, good morning. Oh, your coat feels so nice and soft. You girls are all getting your winter coats. Oh, and you too, little man. <sighs> Look at the frost. What a frosty morning. 33 degrees out, guys. Winter's coming. <sighs> and you know what? Last year, the goat's coats got really fuzzy super early. And we had a really, really rough winter. Long, cold, and snowy. And the goat's coats, yeah. They're doing the same thing, same time of the year. So I think we're in for a doozy of a winter, guys. <sighs> yeah. Come on, chickens. I think there's some nice flat rocks over here. Right here, and here, and probably there. Maybe that one, yep. Gina's having fun building a rock wall along the side of the firewood shed, so let's put some good rocks for her. I almost forgot. We did not collect the eggs yesterday. We fed all the animals and got them ready before we left to go to Boston, but they hadn't laid all their eggs yet. So. Better check and see what we got. We've got a lot of holy squats in there. Why are you pooping all of a sudden in the uh, nesting boxes? You normally don't do that. Two, three, five, six, eight, ten. 12, 13. Oh, all their roosting poles are still up. I didn't know maybe if the roosting poles were knocked down and they were needed a place to roost, but they're up. If you guys like counting eggs, today we'll get two egg counting sessions in one video. We'll have to collect them again this afternoon. I can't get over how fuzzy your winter coat is, Hope. An Arizona goat with a winter coat now. <laughs> oh, what would Weedman Reap think now, Hope? Maybe they'll come and visit you this winter. What do you think? Think that we can get them to come here this winter? You awake yet? Yeah. <laughs> ah, long night last night, but it was good. Good night. We finally get to mow the whole pasture that we put in last year for the first time, guys. It's gonna be interesting. We haven't mowed out there yet, so I'm hoping we don't get stuck because there's kind of some sinkholes. And I'm hoping we don't damage the mower blade too much. We don't have a brush hog. We have our Kubota. It's a BX2370 with a mid-mount lawnmower on it. And I use that for all of my brush hogging and any kind of mowing I need to do. So we'll see what happens.
That's a big rock. That's a big stick. Another big rock. We have an issue with one of the mower blades. One of them sounds like it's loose and spinning, maybe. Yep. That middle one needs to get tightened up. It's just spinning in place. All right, so we gotta go take care of that before we can do any more mowing. Let's check the side one. Yeah, that one's loosened up too. Yep. So it made me think that as I was looking at this going hmm i got some wide sluice left open i wonder why we're not mowing that and it just happened because we were mowing good over there it's just these last two passes three passes so we only have one blade spinning good and i don't know if you could hear it we'll have to check it in the audio but you could hear it zoom like you could hear it it wasn't cutting good so we'll offload what's in the bucket and then we'll go back down and tighten it up and see if we can fix it and get it working again and get back to work. I think this is the one. Yes. Oh yeah, she's loose. She's loose a lot. Uh oh. Alright, that one will tighten up. Yeah, that tightens up good. This one just felt like it kept spinning, guys. Maybe not. Yeah, see, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, it seems like we're. There we go, I think. No? Why does that one keep doing that? It feels like it gets tight and then it spins again. Alright. Let's give it a whirl. That one's tight. Let's check the other side. Let's see how this one is. See, that one's... tightens up guess we're gonna go back and see what happens I don't know why that one wants to keep free well in a little bit it's snug but it's not I can't get a good tight grip on it like I can the other ones my hope would be that we can mow with it if there's more of an issue that it can wait till winter and that can be a winter project and we can repair it this coming winter
You see those blue jays? Oh, they're beautiful. I don't know if I can get a close enough shot. You would think that this little pile here with a little piece of the wood would be so much easier, but it's not. It takes longer because they're smaller pieces, but we'll get it done sometime. We got the big pile done, so we feel, or I feel accomplished, but we'll get this in too. All right, let's see. Yeah, that didn't sound good. That sounded like something metal. Yikes. Yep, boom, boom. And I don't know where the nut is. Yikes. All right, so that bolt is missing. I'll leave this stuff right here so we can look back in this general area and see if we can find it. <sighs> well, this area mowed really nice. We got a lot of biomass to compost this winter and to help grow that soil. There's a lot of straw from all that winter rye. That's well, gonna compost nice. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to get in here and really mulch it up so that way it'll decompose over the winter. But over here, The bolt, I bet you that's the bolt we were having issue with, came undone. So, I don't know if we can find the bolt or not. I'm going to say not. I wonder if it broke off. Let's see. My guess is it's this one right here. Yeah, it broke off. I can feel it. We had the same issue last year. So it broke off the head somewhere. So we're done mowing till we get that fixed, which will probably be to the end of the year. Oh, I have to go order some Kubota parts now. <sighs> All right, I'll get that ordered. Yeah, yep. Whoops. How many eggs? 
13. I was gonna say 12. So I guess I'm still saying 12. I only see Hope and Blossom out. Where are the rest of you? I think that's gonna be that new number for a little while. Where's everybody else hiding hope? Blossom, what are they doing? You girls are hungry and they're not? Don't touch it. What are you boys doing? You want some more hay? Let me, can you go get me a gallon of water? If there isn't one, can you fill one up? Please. Look, here you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There you go. Fresh, clean water. It's been a long day today. I didn't get a better image or photo of the broken bolt. When we go to repair it, I'll make sure I show you guys what happened. I think what happened is I hit a rock or a stump and it sheared the head right off. So I got the parts ordered. I was a little disappointed. I called up the Kubota dealer and they're like, oh, no, we can't look the parts up for you. You have to go on our website find them yourself and order them. I'm like, what? So I thought that was kind of weird. It took me oh, a half hour or so trying to find what I was looking for. We got them ordered. Not very expensive parts, but now we got to wait for them to get shipped here. So it was a long day. I'm glad we were able to get some of the pasture mowed. It's the first time we mowed a lot of those areas. It was a little touchy here, here and there because I didn't know what was underneath all that tall grass. So it was a long day. We're going to go to bed early tonight, guys. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.